Most of us are busy now in Animal Crossing New Horizons with visiting dream islands, diving and collecting mermaid furniture, along with our usual daily activities. However, many of you are probably wondering what will come along with the upcoming fall update. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wonhee and today's video is about the upcoming fall update and what you might want to do to prepare for the upcoming events. Based on the latest data mine from Ninji, most are speculating that we will be getting vegetables and grains as ingredients for cooking recipes. The data mine has also revealed hints of Brewster's Cafe appearing in the museum. In New Leaf, City Folk, and the original Animal Crossing, an event called the Harvest Festival introduced players to an NPC named Franklin. During the Fall Festival in New Leaf, players were required to find Franklin between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. on the fourth Thursday in November. Once found, he would tell you the ingredients required to create dinner. Most of the ingredients were easily obtained through fishing, gathering, and diving. To obtain ingredients like vinegar and flour, the player would get these from their villagers. There was also one mystery ingredient, and the player would have to go to a villager to find out what that ingredient was. You could obtain the ingredients by trading with villagers in New Leaf. Usually items like fish could be traded, but only when the villager was wearing a chef uniform. You could also shake trees, dive, and fish to collect seafood. Once all of the ingredients were obtained and delivered to Franklin, he would then cook the meal. In return, he would also give players harvest furniture and fruit baskets. If all four ingredients were found, he would give you a cornucopia at the end. In New Horizons, we don't know exactly how the fall update will work. So far, New Horizons has a lot of similarities in gameplay to New Leaf, and therefore most speculate that the upcoming fall update will have similar game pace structures. If New Leaf is any indication of how the fall update will work, it is safe to say that collecting certain items and storing a few of them will be helpful. That is, if you have enough storage. These are my suggestions to prepare for the Harvest Festival. Number one, equip your kitchen well with all the appliances and accessories you think you will need to cook meals. In New Leaf, Franklin did all of the work. However, New Horizons has a lot of kitchen appliances and accessories, and that may mean that a fully equipped kitchen might be important for this update. Number two, collect and store fruits, edible fish, mushrooms, and sea creatures. Number three, give chef uniforms and hats to all of your villagers. To prepare for Brewster's Cafe, research your villagers' preferences for how they like their coffee. Every villager has a preference for how they like their coffee made. Websites like Nookopedia and Animal Crossing Fandom will list coffee preferences for all your villagers. By the time the fall update rolls around, you will already know how to prepare coffee at Brewster's Cafe. In New Leaf, Brewster's Cafe was known as The Roost. Players could purchase the building and then build it anywhere in their town. In New Horizons, data mining revealed code that indicated that the location of the cafe would be inside the museum. Some players feel that it might be located in the basement of the museum because of a locked door. In New Leaf, gyroids could be stored at the cafe. Gyroids, also known as haniwa in Japanese, are unusual furniture-like collectible items that make sounds and dance to music. Some gyroids are somewhat like NPCs, like Lloyd, who collects funds for bridges and ramps in New Horizons. There are several family types of gyroids. Data mining reveals that there may be up to 35 families in New Horizons. Gyroids were found buried underground after rainy or snowy days in past Animal Crossing games, and most likely that is how they will be found in New Horizons. Since many players by this time will have completed the dinosaur area of the museum, it is very likely that gyroids will motivate players to dig and collect once again. Interestingly, Haniwa means clay cylinder, or circle of clay, in Japanese. In ancient Japan, they were found in massive quantities on top of colossal mounded tombs known as kofan, or old tomb in Japanese, and some were the size of the average human being. No one really knows what Haniwa were used for, however, theories suggest that they were containers for the soul after passing. In New Leaf, it was possible for players to work at the cafe after buying and drinking seven coffees. Brewster would allow the player to work behind the bar as a barista between 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. on non-holiday days. Players would be allowed to serve drinks to villagers, each with different preferences. 
At the end of the shift, Brewster would give the player a payment in the form of coffee beans that would go up in value as the player served more favorite drinks to their villagers. The amount of milk and sugar in villagers' favorite drinks remained the same, making it a little easier to remember in New Leaf. Also in New Leaf, NPCs would also show up in the cafe. It certainly would be a nice surprise to see Tom Nook, Isabel, Timmy, Tommy, KK Slider, Sahara, Kix, Celeste, Blathers, CJ, Flick, Gulliver, Gulliver, the visiting campsite villager, Wilbur, and Orville at the bar in New Horizons. Note that although a regular villager's favorite drink always had the same amount of sugar and milk, NPCs would have a very different specification for their drinks. For instance, Isabel prefers mocha coffee beans with lots of milk and three spoonfuls of sugar. Tom Nook prefers Kilimanjaro beans with lots of milk and two spoonfuls of sugar. Franklin's NPC in past Animal Crossing games was an understandably paranoid character. He was invited to your town, not as a guest, but as the main course because he's a turkey. It will be interesting to see how Nintendo will handle this dark humor in New Horizons. 2020 is the start of the politically correct, plant-based, eco-friendly, gender-neutral life, and with the current global pandemic, political uprisings throughout the world based on race relations, gender equality, and pretty much every natural disaster due to global warming, it will be interesting to see how Nintendo handles Franklin. Thank you so much for watching this video. We are now just over 4,000 subscribers, and for that, I am truly grateful and appreciative to all. For more content like this, please like and subscribe. Be well, be safe, and see you in the next one.